heard of a pool shark or smelled something fishy? These are just a couple of the idioms that you're gonna be learning about today. Hey everyone, I'm teacher Kayla and I have been at the beach this whole weekend and it has inspired me to share some fun beach idioms with you. Let me know at the end your favorite beach idiom down in the comments and also don't forget to pick up your free PDF that goes along with this video. The link is down in the description. It's got a lot of great information in there. All right, if you're ready, let's get started. Catch some rays. This just means to go outside when it's nice and sunny, like it is today. For example, excuse me while I catch some rays. Like a fish out of water. This just means to feel uncomfortable in a situation. It makes me think of my friend's baby shower recently. There were tons of women there. And then there was my friend's husband and his friend. They were the only men. And <laughs> so you could say they were like fish out of water. Plenty of fish in the sea. We use this idiom when we want to remind someone that there are other people in the world they can have a relationship with. Maybe you want to tell your friend who's just been through a breakup that they won't be alone forever. So you might say, hey Jessica, don't worry about him. You don't need him. There are plenty of fish in the sea. The world is your oyster. This idiom is used to tell someone that they have infinite possibilities. They can do anything. This is most commonly told to college graduates like my friend's brother Joseph, who recently graduated from college. Everyone keeps saying, Joseph, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want as long as you're going to medical school, according to his parents. <laughs> There's something fishy around here. This idiom has been shortened from what it used to be, which was something smells fishy. But as Americans, we love to shorten everything. <laughs> so we made it a little easier to say. This just means that something is suspicious or not quite what it appears to be. Hmm, something's fishy around here. Clam up. To clam up just means to become suddenly quiet due to embarrassment or nervousness. Have you ever had this happen, you know, where you're giving a speech and all of a sudden you can't find your words? Or see someone go in front of a camera and they freeze? This is called clamming up. For example, he clammed up in front of the whole school when it was his turn to give an audition for the talent show. Happy as a clam. This is another fun clam idiom, and it means exactly what it says. Just to be really, really happy. For example, dad is always happy as a clam when he gets to go out on the boat fishing. All right, that brings me to our next idiom, smooth sailing. This just means that something is easy. Maybe you had to overcome a couple of obstacles to get to the point where it's become easy, but now it has gotten easier to do. For example, after understanding the basic requirements of the job, it was smooth sailing from there. A shark is usually used a bit negatively to talk about someone that is trying to trick or swindle someone. 
Um, and when I say swindle, it's basically trick someone out of money or something that they want. So for example, if it's a pool shark, then they are trying to trick someone out of money playing pool or billiards. If it's a loan shark, then they're trying to trick people with high interest rates. And if it's a card shark, then they are trying to trick people by trying to win money playing poker or other card games. For example, she pretended not to know how to play poker, but really she was a card shark. I'm a bit of a card shark myself, <laughs> so you don't wanna play cards with me. And lastly, my favorite idiom, a ray of sunshine. <laughs> this idiom can be used in two different ways. Not to trick you, but it can be used positively or negatively, depending on how the person is speaking, the tone in their voice, and the context of the conversation. For example, let's look at the positive way to use this phrase. You might say something like, wow, you are a ray of sunshine. You light up the room when you walk in. This is positive, you can hear it in the person's voice, right? Now, negatively, this could be said in response to something that you don't wanna hear or <laughs> um, something that someone says that's negative. So you might say, wow, you are just a ray of sunshine, aren't you? This is used sarcastically with a snarky tone to basically tell the other person that they're a jerk. <laughs> all right, and that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed these 10 beach idioms. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up on this video, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know which idiom was your favorite beach idiom. If you ever have any questions, leave those down in the comments and I'll try to answer those in another video. See you next time.